How are we doing guys? Um, it's kind of dark in here, um, but we're going to get on with the, the teardown of the ceiling panels. Um, I'm going to time lapse it so you don't really have to need to watch every little piece of it. Um, and then I'll come back and, and explain what I'm doing during this, the time lapse. So let's get into tearing this down. All right, so here we go. Um, the teardown is, is pretty straightforward and uh, obviously I'm starting with the, the skylight or the the vent garnish around the top and all you do is pull that down and, and that's it. Uh, there's an antenna crank to the left. Uh, there's a little Allen bolt in there and or set screw and three screws and pull that down and you're just left with the, the aluminum shaft that goes up to the antenna. Um, on the left of the cabinets, I'll take those down. They're just screwed in uh, to the ceiling panels and the wall panels. Um, no more than just screws. Uh, there's also another cabinet on the right that you you can kind of see it there. Uh, you can see the back half of it anyway. It looks just like the one here on the left. Um, I'll pull it down as well. And then your air conditioning controls. Uh, there's in this case I think there was three 9 16 bolts and uh, there might have been three or four screws and then an access uh, to the the uh, electrical box um, you unplug the the controls from the actual air conditioner itself uh, you have your your black wire your white wire your green ground uh, you take those you know and they just match up color to color and, and the green goes to the the metal side of the box and now if they're not color matched you know if it's not black to black white to white uh, go ahead and note on a piece of paper or you know wrap a piece of tape around there and, and write white black which ones which colors match up so you can put them back um, there's also one kind of overhead storage shelf in the back um, I was initially going to leave that up but it was getting pretty tight and there wasn't a lot of room to scrape and clean and uh, get the sanders in there and sand down the the uh, oh the tresses in the in the ceiling so I ended up taking that out as well, which the rear uh, window shade is part of that support. So that obviously had to come down. Um, at some point, I think you should be able to see if you look up in the air conditioner area where I take the controls down. This roof is only three quarters of an inch thick. So uh, most of your smaller trailers, smaller motor homes and if they have a vacuum bonded roof and and sidewalls and stuff are very thin and the the glue and the luon and the paneling styrofoam all of that pressed and vacuum bonded together is literally the structure um and you'll see later in the video i think there's one there's only two Two supports in the ceiling supporting the air conditioner and and that's about it the rest is relied on styrofoam luon paneling and glue so if, if you think your RV is built well think again uh, they're all built this way um, some of them obviously thicker than others but they're all built on these same uh, structural principles and from top to bottom uh, they're just really uh, they're great so long as they don't leak um, they are strong they're tough but the second water gets in there and delaminates the glue all your rigidity uh, goes away so I guess enjoy watching me run around here at, at 10 times speed and tear it all down and as soon as the teardown's done and you're done watching me scrape I'll, I'll come back in and it'll slow down and then I'll explain to you uh, 
you know, the, the sanding process and, and what to look for and what to do in prep for gluing it up. And the glue that uh, we use is a stay bond. Uh, it's a U29CT. Now, this stuff is super hard to come by. I get it from Arctic Fox in La Grande, Oregon. But they will not ship it. They're not allowed to ship this stuff for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know if it's hazardous. I don't know what the deal is. But they won't even ship it to me. And I've been a, a service dealer for them for years. So... I physically have to pick it up um, and I, I tried to look it up uh, online for you guys so I could put a, uh, a link to where you could find it um, but you'll just have to call stay bond and I will put their phone number and all of their stuff in a link below so you can click on that pull up the stay bond website and it's s-t-a-b-o-n-d and give them the the number uh, U29CT. I don't know if it's specially mixed just for Arctic Fox because they do uh, special mixtures for this type of glue. Um, you know, for for companies that need a specific, they have a specific set of materials they're gluing together. Um, so I will you know give you that link. But this stuff is amazing as far as glue goes, uh, especially if you're gluing to a kind of an uneven surface and you're kind of overlaying something. Uh, it expands a lot like Gorilla Glue. Uh, it, it looks like honey. Uh, you'll see the glue uh, in the next video when we, we get ready to glue the panels up. Um, it's really sticky. You get it on your fingers and if you don't get it off with some sort of a, an acetone or a, a a really good industrial cleaner you can wipe it off it doesn't hurt by any means but by the end of the day your fingers will turn black and it's because of that glue will get in between your uh, your fingerprints and then it just adheres to every dirt surface for that you touch and it literally takes a week to get off. I mean, you can wear it off and take showers and scrub and get the majority of it probably standing in the shower, but um, it's it's a nightmare to get off. So anyway, uh, enjoy the teardown, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and... Please comment, ask questions. If you have questions, uh, my responses are, and you can look at some of my other videos, are usually pretty long because there's specific details that, that you can't miss on RV repair that I find important. If you skip that step, uh, you've wasted pretty much the whole process. I mean, it might look good, but it's not going to last. So when I respond to you guys, uh, I'm sorry if I end up writing a book um, it's just being ultra detailed about um, the repairs and I mean I've been doing it for 25 years and this is what I have found that uh, works best to my knowledge um, there may be new glues new uh, practices um, in the brand new stuff but my guess is no because everybody builds a throwaway item here in the US uh, nobody builds anything to last or be repaired and RVs are not meant to be repaired I mean some of the appliances may be but not structurally so anyway enough rambling uh, enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one thanks guys How are you doing guys so I got all the ceiling panels stripped out um, I'll kind of show you what I did here
All right, so you can see over there, that's horrible. Um, that's where the, the tin seam, uh, it's kind of a, a stabilizer for the seam on the back of the Luan that they, they glue some tin right over top of the seam. And it kind of looks like I have these squares done, which I did that on purpose. So you want to leave as much of this stuff as you can. I mean, if if it's not coming off, if it's if it's stuck really good, uh, you're better off to leave it there because gluing to styrofoam is a lot harder than gluing to metal or or wood. So. Um, I've just taken out all the delaminated parts and then made cuts where it was still glued really well to the styrofoam. Um, I still have to come back and now I have to sand it all and, and sand this up up here. Um, probably sand that off. We got to get all that rust off or there's not going to be, it won't be able to stick at all. So I will get to sanding and cleaning. And I won't bore you guys with that that work, but I'll show you the finish, how it should be finished before we glue it on, and then we'll start putting up panels. How are we doing, guys? So I have gotten all of this cleaned off and sanded down, and I just used a, oh, I don't have it here just a, a DA sander, uh, 220 grit, cleaned it off. Um, these I used a sanding disc, a uh, flat disc. If you can get 36, even 16, get it. Um, as, rough as, as rough as you can make this surface, um, the better, with the particular glue that we're using, which we'll go into when we get ready to put the panels up. So, um, and I used this little guy around the edges. I still have a little bit up, up front to do. How are we doing guys? Um, so it's been about a, a month and a half-ish, maybe even two months since we worked on the, the Lachero ceiling and, and got it all tore out. Um, what I was expecting the panels to be in the next day uh, never happened. Um, I waited and I waited and finally come to find out the factory was a little lazy on shipping them, which whatever. Then when they got shipped, they went to Utah and they stayed there for a week for whatever reason. Then went from Utah to Billings, sat in Billings for two weeks. They kind of misplaced them or, or whatever they did because um, they, only, they only make deliveries out here every once a week. So now that I got them, um, let's uh, kind of review, I guess, where we left off. I'm not sure where I left off because I haven't looked at any of the footage that I filmed. Um, and like I said, it's been about a month and a half-ish, maybe even longer. So let me grab the camera and we'll go inside and have a look. So um, just kind of I guess a recap of, I don't know if I, pretty sure I explained this. Um, so I went ahead and, and I ground all these down. Um, just use a, like a flap disc on a grinder. Um, I used 40 grit. Um, if you can, if you have to buy them, go all the way to 16. Um, but 40 grit is fine. If that's what you have. Um, also, I don't know if I touched on the foam. You can kind of see, uh, maybe you can kind of see. Let me back up. Oh, there's more light here. So, oh, there's a good shot. So the you see all these these ridges. Um, looks like where I've scraped and tore up foam, and in such cases I have. Um, that was done on purpose. Um, some of it not done on purpose, but. Where it was smooth, I just took my scraper, uh, kind of like this, right, and, you know, made these, these little ridges, 
because of the glue that um, we're using will expand. It'll go into those crevices, swell up, and it'll adhere better. So, um, and that's the kind of glue I have to use because of, you know, it's a little unlevel, so it's, it's your panel's going to going to float across here, you know, it's going to float across here and there'll be little voids. Well, this glue expands and fills those voids. So, um, I guess recap, just make sure you sand all your aluminum panels or aluminum struts down. Um, and like I said, these, these cuts, I don't know if I touched on those or not. Um, I just cut them straight to where this piece was still glued because you can glue to this wood better than you can glue to this styrofoam. Um, so leaving those pieces and patches up there looks kind of ugly, but um, it's still adhered to the styrofoam and it's really tough to beat the uh, factory vacuum uh, bonded roof gluing um, especially when we're going to press it up and I'll have two by fours pressing each panel up and then it'll have to sit and cure for 24 hours before I can take them down so um, I guess that is the recap for I was going to try to do all of this in one video but that would probably get too long so I'll break it into two sections where you saw the tear down uh, what it looks like before we put the panels up and what it looks like when we put the panels up. So the next video will be uh, installing panels. Um, so I will get this video done and uh, published and start working on the panels. And the panel video will probably come up a few days after. So the next video you'll see is install of the panels and how we go about doing that. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.